International Relations and Cooperation Minister Maite Nguana Mashabane paid a visit to the Winterfeld community north of Pretoria, where she handed over a house to Gogo Munyai and her family. The minister made an undertaking to donate a house to Gogo Munyai on the occasion of International Nelson Mandela Day, 18 July 2015, when she visited Gogo's house to donate groceries, toiletries and blankets. The minister found Gogo Munyai, then 89 years old and visually impaired, living in difficult conditions in a dilapidated house with her grandchildren and undertook then to donate her a house. We identify the needs of the community. We say that in the 21 years, government is doing so much. But it is in, as we do the door-to-door, -door, which we do quite regularly, irrespective of whether elections are near or not. So this is not an election year employ. We have been doing this work. And that's why we felt because this is the time of giving of Christmas, the government is doing the best it can, but that we could also as a community contribute to put a smile on the face of one of us. This time around, it happened to be that the community had identified a Ugoko Kungu Manyai, who is 90 years old, who has turned blind because of age group, a, a house. Working together with our donors, Sell Day Construction, uh, she is now moving out of this house into this one you see, uh, behind us, fully furnished and with all the Christmas uh, goodies. Last time we were here, it was just goodies and a few beds. This time around, we think we have turned this which she had referred to as a home to be a true home in the, in the true sense of the world. What humbled me was when I saw her washing her, her hands in her own kitchen with water running from gushing out of the tap. This almost reduced me to tears. And she actually had to drink to confirm that indeed this is water running out of a tap in their own house here in Winterfeld. So this complete the spirit of Christmas, spirit of giving, of sharing, of togetherness. What motivated the minister to return? He was taking care of orphan children in this uh, two-room check that you see behind you, a mud house. But she wasn't giving up hope. Like a true African woman, she remained a willow where these children could say they are going back home. Home, meaning that she was the glue and continues to be that keeps this family together. We needed to work with speed and we really would want to take this opportunity to thank the leadership of this community that they, we have worked together to achieve this mean fit in less than three months.